Economists call it the Asian century. But for the Catholic Church, it's the third millennium. The evangelization of Asia has a prime target, the 1.2 billion people living in China. But the church faces a challenge bigger even than the Great Wall. It must find a bridge between East and West to convince the people that Catholicism is compatible with Chinese culture. For that, it must look back to imperial times. Shu Guanqi was a very important figure in his time because he helped foreign Jesuits to bring the gospel to China, to associate it with the Chinese culture and mentality. Catholic missionaries arrived as early as the 13th century, but the Jesuits' arrival in the 1500s paved the way for Zhu Wangqi's work. He was born to a poor family, but he worked his way up to the court of the Ming Emperor. Influenced by Jesuit missionaries like Matteo Ricci, he converted to Christianity. Together, they translated several Western texts into Chinese. Xu Guanqi had the capacity to make the Chinese of that time understand that Christianity was not a foreign religion. On the contrary, it deeply responded to the needs of the Chinese soul. And naturally, we wish Xu Guanqi's message will continue today. His life and work can be found written inside this book, A Christian in Ming's Court. For Cardinal Fernando Filoni, the prefect of the Congregation for the Evangelization of Peoples, the book could come in handy in Wang Qi's canonization efforts. I think that his intellectual honesty and political morale encourages us to follow this path. There is no unity for the future, even for the church in China, if we don't follow the footsteps he left behind. Currently, Zhu Wangqi is recognized by the Vatican as a servant of God, but as the church's expansion into China continues, so could his beatification process.